I'm only on the ground because that's where it's the brightest. As you can tell, it's really early in the morning. Um, it is like 2.43 a.m. at the moment. And in a little over an hour, I will be heading to the airport and going to Dallas. I can, I'm excited, in case you can't tell. But first, gotta finish packing some things. Now the real fun begins. I'm not, I'm not showing you, don't worry. Get ready, get ready. Yeah. All right. Yeah, y'all, it's good. What's up? Look, what? Do you know, give Dawson some camera touch. What's going on, guys? This is Dawson. We're live. What's your name? Second rider. Yeah. What? Tell them your names. Oh, yeah, I'm Sabrina. I'm Meek. Roxanne. Angel. Angel's in the media track, too. It's going to be Liddy Liddy. Base. He should drop the beat. No, 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 I'm okay. Alright. We gotta try this again. You should try to We got some work. We gotta work on this. We on our way to Bucky's. We got on Bucky's. Yeah. Hoodie's like, listen, guys, do not wear a sweatshirt here, okay? Do not. Do not. Do not. We all have a long sleeve. I had my hoodie on only because I was in the airport. Not made it. I checked it. I am pumped. Lighting is horrible in here. Let me turn this on. Oh yeah. Super pumped. I can't believe I'm actually doing this. Today's a pretty much a chill day. It's a rival day, so people are just gonna be coming in whenever. So my plan for today is to get some sleep. Do some reading. Y'all need to see these manuals they gave us. Look at that. Salvation encounter, freedom manual, culture shift. That's enough to keep me busy the whole day, so. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> Some crazy conversations. You lose it already? Yeah. Including with people from Maryland that I didn't even know were from there. I live in Frederick. Come on, bro. Come on. Meeting the locals. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so, yeah, and then I lived there pretty much the whole time. That's crazy. I never met anyone from like that area. Bro, she knows Gabby! What the heck, Gabby? <laughs> My God! Yeah, yeah, let's hear it. Do it! <laughs> Do it! Yeah, 
ya ya She understood the assignment, yeah. She understood. Hold up, hold up. What? I Yes, it is. 
Please. Mm. Yeah, what a burger. <laughs> this is an old water burger. <laughs> First time. <laughs> it's a classic. Gotta love that picture. My God. Yeah, I didn't either, and I'm wondering if we're gonna get one. I know. I think I know who my roommate is. I think it's Maddie. Seventeen, maybe. I haven't talked. I haven't. I haven't met my roommate. Uh, D. Oh. I like. Y'all are roommates. No. We are. Did you notice? Okay, okay, so someone could have went to the bathroom, bathroom right? Yeah. Open up the other door. Did you open up that other door? No, I closed it. Yeah, it goes to the other room. I didn't realize we were like connected. Yeah, no. So there, I've seen I've seen that setup in like other hotels and stuff. I'm just like. Yeah, it's a little weirded out for a second. Yeah, bro. Okay. Um, What'd you get? Grilled chicken sandwich. Trying to, trying to be careful with the with the red meat. So. Okay. Mm. so are you vlogging this whole thing? Yeah. <laughs> Chicken? This is on Instagram or what? I do have a YouTube channel, but I'm probably also gonna put clips of it on Instagram. So a little bit of everything. Yeah, that's fun. Uh, <laughs> Someone needs to do it. It's not gonna be so. Oh, yeah, we were kind of Come on, stun on. Are you recording? Yes. <laughs> That's awkward. You're in it. I'll be 20. Jesus died. Yeah. You tell everyone. him. Just, tell him. I don't, I don't know tell what else to say. I don't know what else to say. I mean, that's all you gotta say. Just like, just like he placed Adam in the garden. He can Come place you in your purpose. Oh, oh, hey. Why are you walking in your purpose? Hey, Do you know why you exist? Oh. Okay, amen. Let me stop. Uh, see, this is why she's in the messenger track. Yeah, okay. yeah. Do you know Jesus? Hey. Hey. <laughs> Well, it's because we feel an urgency in the spirit. Yeah. It's like, oh, we know Jesus is coming soon. And the, yeah. the, their souls attached to our name. We know where there's only one option. You are either going to heaven or hell. You better preach it. So it's either you get right or you get left. And it's like the Lord really convicted me. She, got, she, brought, she brought that old school preaching. Mm. <laughs> Ooh. She said, enter through the narrow gate. We need gate. that, okay? <laughs> hey. No, we don't need that. Broad is the water down. Mm -mm. Oh, my God. Like no, no, you're good. You're good, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I didn't even, even get him. Lord, to open the doors again. Because yeah. I just moved to a new city, so okay. I haven't, like, Where? found the right Where? place to start it. Uh, St. Petersburg, Florida. <laughs> from, well, Nash from Nashville. Hey, so. hey, you're, not, you're not far from Caleb. Josh, OCOE? Yeah, yeah I just, oh, so, oh, my I fault. just met a lot of... So yeah, I met a lot of them yesterday, and it was no, it was so cool. It was, um, yeah, they're really about the kingdom. That's yeah, for sure. I'm friends with a lot of people that go to his church. Like I met them. Uh, Firestorm. Yeah. I'm so like, I never I'm not meet people, people that, that, like, that, that, that like, know. And we all became them. friends. <laughs> and I got to meet Caleb Garnet. Garnet, now my friend is Literally, friends with Caleb. No one that I know like, knows about. Oh yeah, because Marcus is. Fire. We were talking about him in the car. Yeah. You can't beat Literally, Caleb, bro. none of my friends bro. know who Caleb Gordon is. I'm like, yeah. Say what? They didn't, they didn't, actually want, I showed. Video, they they, 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 they ain't seen that first class remix? That's <laughs> all of yeah. them? Oh my gosh. No, that was, was so fire. Right after. Devil up. Church in the. Bro, the whole time. The whole time I was in the airport, that joint was in my head. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. No, he, cause that all. song was so, like, stuck in my head that I was like, these lyrics are just nah, trash. Bro. And then he released that. I was like, him right there. Oh, he no. is so hyped. He got so close to me, and he touched my shoulder. I'm like, yeah, he's rocking back. back. <laughs> what's up? He's taking. Uh, what's up? What? <laughs> what's y'all's favorite Caleb Gordon song? Uh, well, I feel Ooh, like, um, I don't listen to him that often. Wait, oh, that's a good Yo. question. That's a good question. I know what it is. I'm, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I know it's hard. I know it's, it's hard. A, uh, Definitely gotta throw Top of the Hill up there with Mike Teasy. I love Top of the Hill. Mike Teasy is crazy. Mike too, Teasy. Um, Ooh. Um, I'm okay. Thank okay. you. What is my favorite song? Obviously, okay. Quick, quick was huge. Man, the quick was really, really good. Quick? Flow getting better is fire. Flow getting better is Quick is my all-time favorite because I love that part. It's like, I don't... Wait. Quick. I don't care how you're working. I want to see how you're working. I need to hear that. I haven't heard that one. You ever heard Quick? No. It's like a second biggest song. That one's good. My favorite. It's hard for me. Because I feel like I feel like West Orlando Flow will always be like his best. Yeah. Okay. Emmanuel the This is like this is the first service. My God. He from bro. He not from the D, but he from Michigan. He got that D sound. He does. Oh my. My God. He bro. That holding a hood music. My, I love it. Emmanuel the Prophet. Emmanuel the Prophet. Check him. I've been all those like the real hood rappers like him. Him, God fearing. 
like Man. Big Breeze. I love God Fearing. I don't like Big Breeze. Like you don't like Big Breeze? It's too much auto-tune. Yeah. I feel that. Emmanuel, would it be a rock at these? Scooty Wop is one of my favorites. Oh, yeah, I know. You know who Kieran the Light is? Kieran the Light? Yeah. My! Bro, have you heard his witchcraft songs? Mm -hmm. uh, I love, it, yes. Where well, he talks about it a little like, bit. I've heard a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. It's like, like what yeah, are we yeah. talking about? He's like, he's like oh. rebuking it and like talking about all this like stuff that in his the world is actually witchcraft, witchcraft <laughs> but that we don't think right. is witchcraft. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. It's called, like, he has witchcraft part one and then he has part two past He's three. like exposing witchcraft. What is that? Here in the light. The whole witchcraft has on our generation? Say that bye-bye. Yeah, no, you should listen to them. They're so real. Now I'm start, bro. Uh, I'm waiting to go back to school. I know. I'll take that number. I feel like we need to make like a collab playlist. <laughs> no. I already got a playlist. That would be so dope. Of all the like... Uh, yeah, I'll take some of oh. Where did it come I'm gonna put you on, bro. Please do, bro. I need that. <laughs> and then she goes, girl, like, I got saved. Like, radically uh, saved. Don't cuss no more. I'm like, girl, you don't have a cuss no more. Jesus. <laughs> hey. Suddenly is a guy. Completely just like, I'm all in for Jesus. And she said, you know what? I commend you. Because she said, I tried to stir you away from Jesus, yeah. and you stood in your place. She said, I commend oh you for doing God. that. Yeah. And I'm like, praise the Lamb. Oh, right? yeah, what did he do it? Yo. He said he would. Do it again. Uh, Go on. Hey, that's the one. so much of my friend. I have a friend named Noah, and I just want her to get saved so bad. Basically, Girl, keep praying. Which is really, yeah. this is a kind of a crazy story, but we've been friends ever since I moved to Nashville when I was 13, and we've been like, she's been one of my closest friends. And randomly, my parents decided to move to St. Petersburg, Florida, and then I felt like the Lord was like, you need to move too, and I was really sad, but listen, mm. and so I just moved there eight months ago, and then all of a sudden, Noah moves to St. Petersburg too. Suddenly. Just and suddenly. suddenly. And suddenly. suddenly. But here's the plot twist. She basically was, um, I don't think she was following the Lord full heartedly, but she she definitely was a believer, and she I remember wow. she had encouraged me in the in the past in the Lord, and then all of a sudden she started to turn on him, and now she basically she got a girlfriend, and like basically moved down to St. Petersburg, Florida, with that girlfriend, and we still remain friends, still hung out. I just had to like really pray about you know boundaries and like, sure. you know um, for the Lord to move whenever yeah. I would hang out with her and see yeah. her. Um, and then as of now, um, basically she just got engaged oh, wow. and, um, to that girl and I've just been praying like, Lord, like that is just the one person I'm just like burning on my heart of anyone. Like I just want her to like come face to face with the Lord and I've just been praying for it. And she actually texted me because I've been definitely like very loud. Basically I have a testimony of like, I used to think I was bisexual and Yo. I used to date women, uh, uh, men and women. And basically she's seen that side of me and then she's seen the like yeah. testimony and now she's in that. And so she's like blocked herself out of it. And so I've like even posted a lot on social media mm. and she's gotten all of a sudden very offended about it, even though she knew the yeah. testimony. And she's like, hey, like, I, I just don't think I can be friends with you anymore. Wow. It's just like, you know, I just don't think I can be friends with someone that um, really just doesn't, or is not pleased with, you know, what I'm doing and like who I am and all that. So it, it definitely was sad to hear that, but I know one day she's going to call me. Come on. Gonna say, Come on. I understand. Like Come my on. eyes are open. That's I it. know the Lord. I That's know it. Jesus. And yeah. like I'm never going back. Like I know that that's gonna happen. Just, Come on. Uh, Pray and fast just, for her. Please. Yeah. Yo. Something's yeah. come out through fasting and praying. Yeah. yeah, I know. And I haven't honestly underrated. I haven't. Underrated. Oh, okay. when I got fasting, that's I how my chains got broken. I think hey. Lord he had to take me. Okay. <laughs> well, he really like I was not going to leave. Yeah. Like out for a little bit of my testimony. Go ahead. We never really got to in the car. Go ahead. Um, but I grew up like in a Christian household and everything. But I didn't really know Jesus like that. I didn't know I could even have Holy Spirit encounters wow. until I got to heaven. That's I thought I could only meet God when wow. I went to heaven. So I was like reading him in the scripture. I was like, oh, I can never really have a relationship with him. It was yeah. more so like, oh, what can you do for me? Yeah. I love you because you gave me this job. We're doing great. But it's like you take the job away, you hate me. Yeah. 
right? Yeah. Um, and then I was bound, I was addicted to pornography for 10 years of my life. Hip. And then the Lord broke free from that from fasting. Wow. Yeah. So come on now, come that's why I like the power of yep. fasting because I was like, I was not, I was so bound. And then when I talked to my, finally talked to my family about it, I realized all the sexual sin that had been passed down. Oh. And I was like, oh no, this, says, this ends with yeah. me. Hey. This will not, I'm hey, like, no, I am. Like, this yeah. is because I'm like it ends with me. I would not yeah. put my children through this. If I yes. have future children, like yeah. whatever that will look Please like. But on. like, I refuse to find pleasure in the things that nailed Jesus to the cross. And that's, oh, that oh, is, oh, <laughs> girl, and that's, oh, <laughs> that's scripture, though, bro. Oh. Oh. And he said those girl. demons will only come out by prayer. By prayer. That's why I'm like, and I've been that out. Literally. And it's like, yeah. if you've ever gotten, like, even if you're faced with like a temptation, like, oh, maybe I want to go back to this life. So I'm like, immediately fast. Come on. Immediately. Because like sometimes prayer isn't enough. Dude, sometimes I look at my hands. I'm like, that's not, this time's not enough. Sometimes it has to go with and you. Gotta live a life life saying, that, like, you got to live a lifestyle. God, I am so yep. tired yep. fed up. Lifestyle. I just need you. Like, I'm cutting off everything. How hungry are you? How hungry are you? I'm starving. How thirsty are you? I'm starving. I was starving. That's how Man. I got free from blood and morality. Yeah, my flesh. Bro. That's what it's for. I didn't get cast at all. Talk like, about I the crucifixion. I'm righteous. What about right now? Bye bye. Yeah. Come on. Literally, oh, and like wanting to see women, especially because yeah. like no one talks about it with yeah. women. I felt yeah. so much shame. That's I was like a dancer at my church for years, and I was like involved in ministry, but I'm like yeah. struggling with this thing. I'm like, yeah. I go to anyone about it because I'm like, yeah. it's just a men's thing. It's Everyone I talk to that's struggling yeah. Yeah. is a man. And yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now do I feel like am I not a woman? Like, it's just going through this whole identity sure, thing. Sure, 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 sure. Which led to a whole slew yeah. of identity things. Come on now, come on. Like, your nickname kind of came about because the Lord was like, but yeah, we need to see you for this. Come sure. Yeah. Um, but it was like, man, I just have such a hunger just to see women like, and just everyone just really walking in holiness yes. and purity yes. and Come redefining on. what purity looks like. I'm yeah. like, talk so to good. purity yeah. culture, mm. but it's like, mm. purity is just holiness yes. and it's saying like, your yeah. way is better than my way and here's why. So um, good. It's not a, like, yes, modesty, yes, the way you dress, like, yes, those are all valid, but it's like also your Inside. mindset. Yeah, yeah, it's your yeah. First and foremost. Yeah. Obviously, like the outside can You'd be like, yeah, what, what we got yeah, going on sure, in the heart? Sure. I'm saying, like, what, I'm, not sure. that, I'm not that naive. Sharp. I'm not that naive. Like, I'm just a word of honor. Sharp. And, and sharp. Anything. Sharp. Like, Maybe not. But, <laughs> yeah, it's just, girl. Yeah. Sounds awesome. good. That's awesome. I'm just so, so good. Yeah. 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 That's just one part of my testament. I have a. That's, yeah. No, like, that was my biggest. <laughs> No, like I'm so yeah, glad I'm so glad you shared that. Like, that, that's why I actually highly recommend you. I'll, I'll maybe I'll send it to you guys, the testimonies that we do, because like a lot of the testimonies are like they involve people that have been like molested as kids mm -hmm. or like addicted to pornography, and you'd be surprised. Like the the girls will talk about like how it was an issue for them, mm -hmm. and so like like yeah. there's one girl who's a friend of mine. I went to school with her, and because of just how the joy she has in Jesus, I would have never known this about her. But like. She went through a thing where, like, when she was a kid, she was molested, and so obviously that opened up the door for, like, her, like, exploring everything, and then, like, she was addicted to pornography. She even had, like, multiple abortions and things, and so, like, there was all this brokenness, and then, like, just the way the Lord healed all of that. So I just love that. I feel like in today's day and age, people are becoming more free to share that kind of stuff, yeah. so. Because it has such a hold on you, like, mentally, and I had Absolutely. to go through years of just, like, purifying my eyes and Renew my the mind. mindset and the Lord is so gracious he's removed those images from my, my, sure. my memory like he's yes. so Beautiful. gracious over the years like, in my obedience he's like yeah. I'm taking away this yeah, memory so you're Come not on. even like reminded of who wow. you used to be so it's so like good. got into that point I'm like this is so real it's yeah. literally so dope and the yeah. fact that like years ago I'd be like so ashamed like oh my gosh I was addicted to pornography and now I'm like I was addicted to pornography yeah. <laughs> as soon as that shame is gone because it's like yeah. yo like it's and now it's glorifying that God so, made that he redeemed you. Yes. yes, and I'm like, that's why there's so much power in a testimony. That's yeah, how I got by the blood and the word. What did what they say? Listen, listen. And hearing other women something. talk about it, yeah. that's what got me set free. Yeah. I was like, oh, look at wait, I'm not the only one. Yeah. We gonna get packed in like sardines again. Watch this. Oh crap, there's only two back here. <laughs> For the vlog. All right. this, this, this is how Circuit Riders do it, baby. Let's Circuit go. Riders. Oh. Oh.
I'm watching my dribble, I'm keeping my head up. Hey, I know it's a setup. Hey, the table in front of my enemies. Hey. You wanna talk about no fear? There you go. gonna get the speed wobbles if he keeps doing that. I know. Or he's down super easy. Yep. Like whatever I'm like like saying. Like, like I feel a little you bit You gotta put your like front foot. You gotta like space it out. Yeah. Like I don't want to make, make it seem um, like the intention is to post about myself. You know what I mean? You snowboard in Cali then? Like that's yeah. the big bear. Yeah. I don't want to like fall into something. Or, like, I got crocs on. Yeah. These are not the best skins to no. Dude you gotta put them in sport mode. Oh you're right. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Is that really what they're called? That's what, it's like what everybody says these days. It cracks me up. What the hell? I'll, I'll never wear a set of Crocs in my entire life. Ever. I used to say that. I'll never wear them. They're comfy, don't get me wrong, but I'll never wear them. My brother, he wears them though. Yes, bro, play that. I don't know, like, I can't play it well, though.